you, Senator Sapone, and welcome to all of you to support this campaign very strongly because simply, Minister, seven is too young. What this is about is that as soon as a child of a lone parent is seven, that lone parent has to move from their means-tested payment, it's not something that's just handed out like, like sweets, onto the unemployment register and on to being available for work. And what is to happen to their seven-year-old? What Bernardos believe is likely to happen to their seven-year-old is that if they're really going to go to work, and if not, if they're not available, if they don't have the childcare in place, they'll be told that they're not eligible for the payment, is that the children are likely not to be minded or to be minded in a place that is not suitable for them. We have been through, and I had the pleasure, I don't know if it's a pleasure, but it was, because it was a, it was a civic duty, to sit on the Ryan Commission to learn what we did as a state to mostly the children of lone parents in the past. We cannot be going back there. And our outrage when these things are put out cannot then disappear. And we say, but here, we have a new burden for lone parents and their children's children to carry. What we think will happen is that more one-parent families will live in poverty, that more children will grow up in households with little hope of pulling themselves out of welfare dependency, and that there will be more children at risk, risk in being trapped in intergenerational cycles of poverty than there are already. Minister, Minister Burton has said, and I believe her, that this is not her intention. And I'm saying to her, Minister, pull back because this is what's going to happen. Reading the rationale for it, it says it's to save money. I'm not going to repeat what Francis has eloquently displayed. But what really cost, co got my attention was that herself and Minister Fitzgerald, she said, were working to produce and to ensure that there were adequate childcare places available. I work in childcare. Bernardo's works in childcare. I haven't seen any evidence about it. We have not been in to talk about it. Let's have a look at a seven-year-old child and its parent, its one parent, whether it's a mam, a dad or a mum going to work. There's no one in the house. We know that too many lone parents, unfortunately, perhaps don't have the educational skills or the kind of skills that our ever-diminishing workforce now requires. So they're likely to be in low-paid employment. We know that. We know it from Bernardo's. They come and talk to us about the issues. They have to get up maybe at half seven. Who's going to be there with the child? Who's going to mind this child? If, the chi if it's a school day, who's going to get the child out to school? Who's going to ensure they have a breakfast? Who's going to ensure that their bag is packed? Are we expecting children at seven to parent themselves? Bernardo says no. They can't do it. They're not developmentally ready for that. And that's not what their childhood is meant to be about. We move into the school holidays. I haven't read of any proposals, perhaps someone can enlighten me, of schools being open all day to provide care and school holidays for children. I haven't read of any great new proposals on after schools. I haven't read about who is going to play with children at seven, that's still your entitlement. Who's going to listen to them? Who's going to make sure that they're involved in activities that keep them safe and that also develop them? And I have just two more things to say to, to the minister in particular and to this government in general. There are a couple of things that mark a government. A government needs to pass the test of compassion as well as the test of financial security for this country. This measure does neither and I would ask them to reconsider it very quickly before they end up having the tag of non-compassion attached to them. I would also say that it in, in no way promotes the well-being of children to have one more child in this country go hungry, to have well, one more child not being minded properly at seven years of age. And I would also say to them, beware the pendulum that swings too far. Mm -hmm. In 2010, lone parents were paid up until their children or young people were 18. Within a few years, we'll have swung to seven. That's a pendulum swung too far. Bring it back, Minister. Let us behave reasonably put the services and the infrastructure in places. Make sure that the training offered to lone parents and indeed to all job seekers in this country is real training that achieves real results and that can allow people with dignity to get the kind of jobs that helps with state support to bring up their family. That's what parents want for their children. I have never met a lone parent 
who didn't want the same things for their children. I think we now need to stand with them and make sure that this bill in its present form does not get voted through on a nod. It is not good for children. Thank you very much.